welcome to the channel again and this is a video um, a couple of people actually asked me for this one I ended up installing all three Steam versions so we got the Debian version the one that you actually literally get from Steam we got the Snap version the one that you get when you install Ubuntu and then try to install the Steam version I, I think that's the default there and the Flatpak when you install FlatHub and you you know you do a flat pack uh, install steam and then you get like something like 13 options one of those is the actual steam version for all the three versions of steam what i did was i did a couple of tests for the games that you're seeing here on screen so counter strike 2 cyberpunk doom eternal spider-man uh forza horizon 5 kingdom come um 2 and dead island dead island island too uh just in case so for this five here it's a it was one minute testing for each one in specific places so doom eternal was on on level one like where you actually start after you land on the cripple earth or whatever uh for spider-man you're in the city in the downtown area where there's a lot of uh you know traffic and and buildings and stuff like that um, let me see, Forza Horizon, this is where the airplane lands, you know, after you finish the, the intro, so that area, that's, it's like a runaway, uh, for planes. On Kingdom Come, it's, it's where the leader entrance is in the Sigmund's camp, just before you enter, that area, it's, it's very crowded, that's why it's, I selected that one. Um, and Dead Island 2, it's just after you meet or you save those two people in the, inside the mansion and they tell you oh my god zombies are coming and then you get out and you start kicking butt that's where i tested all this for counter strike 2 it actually there was a somebody actually suggested this on the on the comments here on the on the channel so i installed the counter strike 2 fps benchmark ancient ran it five times and for Cyberpunk, we all know that in the in the video settings, there's a benchmark option there. So I ran it five times too. Again, for all cases, there's no DLSS, there's no frame generation, ray tracing is enabled at max, whatever the the game allows. It's a 4K in game settings are in ultra for everything. Okay. With that said, I highlighted the games that, like what Steam version actually have better. FPS and when I say better, it's just like a little small variable there. So uh, on Counter Strike, after doing all five tests and getting the average, we got 203.77 with the Davian version, the one that Steam gives you. With the Snap version, went down by a lot. So we're talking almost 50 points there. With the Flat Pack, it went even lower than that. I don't know what happened here. I mean, normally they're close to each other but the flat pack just went really down same for the snap on counter strike 2 with cyberpunk you actually you can actually see that difference so there's no difference in there just 44 point and then something okay doom eternal uh 258 here 267 here 251 and you can see all the uh, the scores basically there very, a, a question that you should be asking yourself is remember on snap mango hud doesn't work okay so how did i get these averages for that one minute or the five tests well for the five tests is because when you finish it the, the these two games actually give you the 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 average so that was easy for this five was hell and this is something that the steam guys for ubuntu for the snap version of ubuntu should know and this is why I need people like me need Mango Hut to be there and work as it works on Flatback and Debian. I had to literally go one second at a time, thanks to Katie and Live there. Uh, one second at a time and grab 60 counts of FPS values and then average that amount. It was it was a waste of time. Let's just put it like that. He gave me this. And great to see Snap uh, version of Steam being the better one here, almost in all cases. But me particularly, even though I use Ubuntu, I don't use the Snap version at all. Even though I know 
and this is probably the third time that I tested that it gives me better FPS, I don't care, dude. If you don't have Mongo HUD, which is like a critical tool uh, for for me to test and for me to see, you know, if a driver version changes, if uh, uh, for the NVIDIA car or a new version of Ubuntu changes or something changes, you can use Mongo HUD to actually see that, that test. If that's not there, I don't use it at all. So if you're like me, picky about that very important tool, don't use Snap. You can jump to this one and this one. And obviously, based on the results, then it's actually between these two. The one that I use for almost all the cases is Debian version. Until Snap actually makes Mango HUD a, a first case, a, a, you know, first case citizen there of the Snap environment. Okay, because it's literally required for this in order to be, in order for me to start promoting Snap. It's Kudos for them to show the great optimization they did, but without Mangoha, it's it's horrible for me to do this type of videos. So with that said, you can see that in all cases, with the exception of, for some reason, one of the games that I play a lot, Kingdom Come 2, actually has better FPS on flatback than the other ones. In every other scenario, there are like huge jumps down for... Um, for flat pack that you can actually see not not so big i mean here you can see what four or three and here you can see almost 10 something like that between five and ten here you can see yeah same same thing like five and a little bit over and so on and so forth i don't know why i don't know how um maybe there's like an environment thing for flat pack um overhead stuff for flat pack whatever um but basically, with this video, now we now I know that it's better to stick with Debian still until Snap version, at least for me, personally, until the Snap version actually allows me to, the way that I'm doing it for this one too, by the way, I'm compiling my own Mongo HUD and the settings are you know, in the .config slash Mongo HUD slash Mongo HUD .conf and, and setting up my own thing there. You know, no other weird things that I gotta memorize, but it doesn't work on Vulkan. That's why I put a um, a bug report a couple of months back. No, no word about that yet. Um, but just so you guys know, the the one that gets better FPS, Snap. The one that I recommend, Debian, because of that Mango HUD thing. That's how critical Mango HUD is for me. So anyway, this took me a while to, to test, as you can see the scores, and now you get the results about what to expect on the 5090, by the way. So here we're testing with an NVIDIA 5090, we're also testing with what, 575 and NVIDIA drivers, um, I don't know, the CPU in case you want to know, it's a 14900K, and the motherboard is in Asus dark hero with latest uh, bios updates and that's it for now so i hope the video helps big hugs everybody think positive as always ubuntu please for the love of linus make mango hut a reality here with snap